Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm here to talk to you about the fusion between Griffith and the demon child who became the Moonlight child and what this means for Berserk moving forward. So as we know, the demon child was created through the fusion and unity of Guts, Casca and Griffith, right? And what I meant is like, Guts was into with Casca prior to the events of the Eclipse. After that, and this is just a theory, this is my theory. Yeah, that's great, bro. Who's the man? So again, if you want to light me up, that's fine. But just know it's a theory and it's not based. It's just a theory I'm making based on the evidence we were given. And it's not fact, Mira didn't say this, nothing like that. I'm just, you know, coming up with a theory. In the Eclipse, the events of the Eclipse, Griffith shed his humanity when he became Femto and I believe that the act of sleeping with Casca in front of Guts or raping her pretty much I should say it wasn't sleeping with but raping her was him injecting the last bit of his humanity onto her because like okay in the events of the Eclipse right let's look at it like this Skull Knight shouldn't have been there and Guts and Casca should have been annihilated Right? We all agree that had the Skull Knight not come in there, they would have been dead because they were branded and sacrifices, correct? So I felt like Femto, what he did to Casco was him like saying, you know what, screw this. The last bit of my humanity, I will project it into you. And he literally jizzed it in Casco, right? Excuse my language. He did not account for the fact that Skull Knight barrier and saved Guts and Casco and escape. And then the demon child was born and Skull Knight himself said kill that thing immediately, right? And I believe that yes, the demon child has a connection to Casca, of course, because it's a mom and stuff. But I think it's deeper than that. And the, I think that connection is because of what Griffith meant to both Guts and Casca and vice versa, right? I think that was Femto shedding his last bit of humanity and the thing is like Skull Knight didn't account for this because he's like what kind of monstrosity is this and it makes sense to me because yes it's the act of parent and child right and because this demon baby was following guts and everything but let's look at it like this right if the demon baby was like truly like what should I say truly a child like, I would expect him to, to stick to Casca versus, like, Guts because, you know, motherly affection and whatnot. But he did protect Guts several times, too. But I feel that there's something more to this demon child that meets the eye. He just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And yes, it's to protect the people. But I feel like he he has a clear understanding. He's not an actual baby. I feel like he has a clear understanding of what's going on in the world around him is what I'm trying to say. An actual baby would just cry, just be there and doesn't know anything. This entity has a understanding of the dangers of the world and is at the right place at the right time to warn Guts of impending dangers, to protect Casca from impending dangers, and just so happened to be at the right place at the right time for that Apostle Egg to take him in and then he fuses with Griffith, right? Yes, it is. I know it sounds weird, but I, I have some things I want to use to back it up. There was a point in the the manga where we saw that Griffith and Casco in a house and Guts was like outside as a child. I think it was like a type of dream thing. I'm going to have to look for the panels and I'll make sure it's up here to show you. But I think that was like a, a sort of like storytelling, so to speak, because it's kind of like they were all, all three of them are kind of like united in a way. Like seeing that panel made me think, what if it's the other way around and like Guts and Casca, the parents of Griffith, is kind of like the child versus, you know, Guts being child. And anyways, so we go forward now and Griffith is reborn into the world. Griffith as Femto tells Guts, you know, I wanted to meet you on the Hill of Swords because I wanted to see if I would feel anything and I feel nothing. Right? He was like, I feel nothing. And that's good. And Guts got, got mad and then Zod intervened and everything. But when the rock stack crashing down, we saw that Griffith went out of his way to protect Casca, who would have been crushed otherwise. And then he himself looked at himself like, well, this is kind of strange, well. And then he, we saw the appearance of the Moonlight Child, 
at several intervals to protect the group and to help the group and everything like that. Again, yes, I get it. A child would want to protect his parents, his or her parents. And I'm not saying that the Moon Knight child is not a child or affiliated in any way with Guts and Casca. I believe there's a fusion there. But I feel a part of that child is the last bit of humanity that is left in Griffith. And ironically enough, it got re-injected into Femto, which he thought he got rid of it. But I think Femto in, in, indirectly screwed himself with this one, right? Because when you look at it too, and it's just, it's, it's just such brilliant writing. There's no way for Guts, as he is right now, to defeat the God Hand, right? I don't care how badass of a fighter he is, how cool his sword looks, he has the Buzuka armor and stuff, let's be real. In the Astral Plane, especially, the God Hand members are night undefeatable. They are gods in this realm. You saw how big Slan was able to get, how small and quick the, some of the Ubek and them are. It's just like they have too much power. They are practically gods. So you would need some type of Achilles heel, some type of being who is capable of fighting on their level to, you know, at least even the playing field. And when I think about Griffith, I, as much as I don't like him because of the things he's done, like, he might be Achilles' heel, and now we've seen that more and more, because if he actually transforms into Moonlight Child, which I, I'm pretty sure he does, because we said this before, it makes no sense that the Demon Child looks like how he looked, and then afterwards, all of a sudden, this random boy just starts appearing. Obviously, they have to be one and the same. It's these two souls struggling for, for control, and it makes sense why this Moonlight Child or Demon Baby would be strong enough to take over Griffith at certain points in the story. Because, again, Femto is a freaking demon, all right? He's not like a pushover demon too. He's like a freaking strong demon. So the only thing that would match him in that type of strength and power would be something from him, like his humanity. And that's why it makes sense they will have this switcheroo that happens every so often because it's a piece of his humanity. Or maybe there's something to do with the weakening of the astral realm and the astral beings at specific points when the moonlight is at its fullest or something hence the moonlight child so maybe when the moon is out at its fullest that's the weakest the god hand members could be maybe there's some type of weakness like that but either way the fact that we are seeing this you know struggle this internal battle but it doesn't even seem like an internal battle he he kind of seemed like he accepts that and and that's why i think like this Moonlight Child, yes, he is Guts and Casca's baby, but I think he's more than that. I think he might be a part of Griffith too. Because it's almost as if when Griffith's looking at his hair, he knows it's gonna happen and he's kinda like accepting of it. It wasn't like he was like, ah, no, I don't want to become a little boy again. You know, he wasn't struggling. He was like, oh, it's gonna happen. Almost like what we saw with Bruce Banner and Hulk. They, <laughs> oh shoot, sorry, I can't, never mind. Endgame spoiler, I was I was messed. Up. Anyway, sorry. Go see Endgame. It's a great movie. But um, I feel like there's a fusion going on there that is allowing Griffith to accept part of his humanity. And if that's the case, in the future chapters, this might be the salvation that the characters need or guts needs, especially to defeat the God Hand, he might be able to appeal to Griffith's human side versus this demon Femto and help stop the plans that he has set in motion, which I honestly think is not good for humanity whatsoever. It's just everybody now they're seeing the possibility of the Moonlight Child and Griffith being one and the same, which we, again, it was pretty clear to me at least. And Griffith's acceptance of this thing in him shows that maybe he's looking at that and trying to understand what's going on with himself better because he can't like it seems like he can't just rip himself away from it because it's a part of him now it's part of his core soul and god hand members aren't supposed to feel love they the they're entities that just do whatever they feel what you know they don't understand like i feel like they don't understand humanity or if anything they might understand humanity too much but they just don't feel typical emotions like we do 
I'm just thinking from a, a story perspective, God had members are way too overpowered. You have to weaken them. The only person who could fight a God hand member, in my opinion, is like, well, guts with his sword or another God hand member. So if the God hand members have something sinister going on and you have one of the, those members with the same amount of power as they, or even more, who knows, and he's able to feel what humans feel and, and sympathize and have emotions, maybe he might even want to see the world destroyed or given to a, a deity to become some ultimate being or something like that. Maybe he will want to save the world and, and try to right his wrongs and legitimately care about people. And through those actions and feelings, he might take steps and necessary actions to pre prevent the end of the world. And Griffith's situation is very unique. I don't think anything is, like this has happened. So the outcome is, in, is anybody's guess at this point. So you guys, please tell me what you think and comment below. Like, do you think that Griffith <laughs> understands what's going on with him? Are uh, the two f souls in Griffith fused? Femto and this entity, the demon child who is the moonlight child, who I honestly think is a piece of Griffith, like his last bit of humanity, because again, of the understanding and the capability the demon child had from the get-go. He understood how to protect God. He understood that these demons and stuff were dangerous. Children, when they are born, they are not aware of this. That's why they are called babies, because we have to take care of them from when they are small. But this little entity used its power to protect, protect Casca, so he knew she was in danger. So is it a fusing going on? And if that's a fusing going on, is this thing going to become something that will protect the world in the later chapters of Berserk? Is Griffith actually the salvation of this world? Anyway, thank you for watching and let me know.